Hi and welcome to Shift 4 Shop. We've put together this video demonstration to illustrate how quickly you can be ready to sell on your Shift 4 Shop store. Now, we're going to go through these screens pretty quickly, but don't worry. We have extensive articles in our knowledge base to help you get started. With this video, we just want to show you how quick the process can be. To view the knowledge base, simply click on this icon in the Online Store Manager to see a list of articles related to the page you're viewing. We also have special information icons spread throughout the admin to give you additional help. And if you ever get stuck, you can open a support ticket or chat session right from the admin. So let's get started. Now, this is a brand new store, and by this point I've completed the startup wizard, entered my store information, added my payment method, and selected my theme. But I still haven't uploaded my logo yet. So to do that, we'll go into Settings, General, and Store Settings. And here's where I'll add my logo image. Just click on Browse, and upload files to add my logo. And once it's uploaded, just select it from the view. And click Save. Now let's click on View Store and see the logo in place. While I'm here, let's go ahead and swap out these carousel images for my own. Now if you click on one of the carousel images, you'll be taken directly to the setting page in the admin to change those images. But if you ever need to come back to the carousel settings, you can find it in the Stores Modules section. So, just like the logo, let's click on Browse, followed by Upload Files, and I'll add my two slider images and select them. I'll also remove these links since I don't have pages to link to yet. I'll just come back to those later on. Okay, let's click Save, and now View Store. There we go, coming along nicely. Now, this store is still using its default demo products, so let's get rid of those and add my own. Back inside the admin, let's go to Products, Product List. These are all the default demo products that the store comes with. I'll delete those in a minute, but let's create my first real product. Click on Add a Product. Let's add a name for the product. The SKU can be whatever you'd like. I'll just keep it as is in this case. We'll add a better description later. And while we're here, let's add it to a category. It's a kitchen appliance, so let's make this category called Appliances. And assign the product to it. For the image, I'm just going to click and drag the picture into this area. And now let's price the item. And I have 25 units on hand. And lastly, this product comes in three colors, so we'll add options for those. And let's click Save. And there's the product created. I can fine-tune it further with all of these additional tabs, but for now I've got my item in place, and I think it's time to delete those demo products. I'm going to select all of these checkboxes, then unselect my new product, and we'll use this batch action to delete them all. At this point, I can add as many products as I want. I could either create them manually, or use the export import functions for a CSV import. But for now, let's move on to another important part of an e-commerce store, shipping. I'm going to need the store to calculate shipping for me. That way, I'm not out of pocket when I ship orders to my customers. So to set that up, I'll go into Settings, then Shipping. Now, there's two ways to calculate shipping. One way is to connect the store to a shipping carrier like UPS, 
and have it return live rates that my customers can select. To set that up, I would go into Shipping Settings and add my credentials for UPS or FedEx or whoever I use for shipping. And if I don't have an account with them, I can also register right from here. In my case, I use USPS, so I'll enter my credentials for them and click Save. While I'm here, let me just verify that my shipping origin is set up. If this is blank, just enter the location where you ship from. Okay, now the next step is to add the USPS methods that I normally use for shipping. So for that, let's go back into the shipping page. And this time, click on the button for shipping methods. And then I'll select the USPS methods that I want to make available. Now, a moment ago, I mentioned that there are two ways of calculating shipping. I just set up the store with USPS to get real-time rates from them, and that method is called real-time rates. But I can also set up custom or offline shipping methods, which are calculated based on ranges. For example, I can use this flat rate shipping method. I'm selling appliances, which can be a little on the heavy side, so let's go with $10 per item. Or I can also set ranged base shipping, where I can create different ranges for things like the total weight of the order, or the number of items in it, or the total dollar value of the order, or even the zip code that the orders are going to. For now, I think USPS and flat rate shipping should be enough. I can always fine-tune it more as orders start coming in. Okay, so now let's set up tax calculation for the orders. Let's go to Settings and Payment, and then let's go into the Tax Manager. Now, you should check with your local commerce laws for how online sales tax is handled for your business. In my case, it's fairly easy. I only need to charge sales tax for orders going to Florida addresses. So for my store, I'll only set Florida as the state, and it'll be a flat 7% charge on those orders. It may be different for your location, but you can set up tax calculation based on broad locations like an entire country, or a state, or more granular areas like zip code ranges. So let's click View Store to see our work. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, I was able to create my basic store and get it ready to process orders. And starting your store can be just as easy. So, good luck with your e-commerce web store, and thank you for using Shift4Shop.